You know, pretty sure everybody gets asked sometimes, you know, why do you create these CAW leagues and, and by doing so create these CAW characters to go with it? Well, I talked about this one time in a video. I said, I kind of talked about why fans prefer CAW, watching CAW over, you know, like WWE and TNA. I even asked off the rope shows Jeff Shegel uh, the same thing. And basically the point is, it's more along the lines of, it's uh, more along the lines of the fact that You know, it's more along the lines of the fact that you have uh, characters here. Oops. Uh, you have characters here that fans. That if they're very creative, you I mean you have a vast variety of characters out there in, in the media that, if you're a talented fan, um, if you will. Then, pretty much, if you're very talented, you could pretty much use everything that's uh, afforded to you um, in the creation mode here. And, you know, a lot of fans do that. You know, they, they take advantage of it. And, you know, for, for someone like, for someone like me, you know, I, I take advantage because of the fact that it allows me to create characters not just based on myself and my family and friends, but based on characters I grew up with out of television shows, you know, cartoons mainly, uh, comic books and, and stuff like that. And... And again, like I said, if someone's talented enough to, ex you know, use all that's uh, given to them here, you know, if they're talented enough to use all that, uh, you know, is supplied to them in the creation mode, uh, You know, they can do some um, unique, they can make some unique characters and have some unique arenas uh, for the CAW leagues, if it's theirs, if it's uh, anybody else's. You know, they, they, they take advantage, basically, of the creation, and people like that. They really do, and, you know, you take a look at all these CAW leagues, like the DWF, and Fs, and the VCWs, and... You know, even mine, the DCWAs and the YWFs and the RPWs and so on and so forth. You know, the CAW Championship, the comp, CAW, the CAW, the CAW Champions League, the CCL, you know. Pretty, uh, basically, people take advantage of that because they look at it and they say, you know what? Not only can we do it better, Better with our own characters, but we could probably make better stories. And what's funny about that is, even if they decide to use, you know, even if they decide to use the, um, you know, use the established characters already on there, and then create, you know, CAW versions of, let's say, TNA stars or RH stars. It allows them to create stories of what should be happening, of what, what they would do. Like if they were in charge of WWE, they would reach out to Ring of Honor and TNA and say, hey, I'm not trying to buy your company, but I would like to put something on that the fans have been wanting to see. I would like to put on a WWE versus TNA invasion angle or WWE versus Ring of Honor invasion angle. You know, they, they, they want to do that. And... You know, to, to me, you know, and, and to someone like me, that's, 
you know, that, that's pretty cool to, to see happen. Um, you see happen. I mean, in fact, you go, uh, you go here on YouTube, and you have a lot of people that do that. They display that kind of stuff, saying this is, you know, kind of showing off that creativity. And when I asked Jeff that question, like a couple months ago, about a month or two ago, you know, he agreed that, yeah, there are people that feel that they could do a better job. And when it comes to all these unique CAW leagues out there, like, you know, like SCAW or CCL and, you know, WDF and the like, it's not just you have characters based on almost real-life individuals or real-life superstars or divas or, or just characters you felt that, hey, if you could be given a gimmick and a new name, this would be one you would take. But also it allows you to do things you normally wouldn't do. Like, create, like I mentioned earlier, create characters from comic books and movies and stuff and have them interact with other characters and from, with other characters from other cartoons and other movies and comic books. Like, like on here, uh, one of the benefits that a lot of people like is the downloadable mode, is the Community Creation Center. And there you can download uh, other people's creations and have them interact, not just with yours, but with other people's. You know, you have like uh, Night Owl 83.2 um, has some great characters he's done, Diva and Superstar. And I could download, and I've downloaded some of his. And I could download some of his, and let's say I could take his Amanda character, and I could have her interact with, let's say, oh, I don't know, have her interact with, uh, with, with Wonder Woman, if you will, that was created by somebody else. Or have her interact with the, uh, with, I believe, Jubilee, or not Jubilee, uh, uh, with Rogue, another character that was created. Or, or, uh, or Zatanna from DC. I could have Amanda Mathis or Kelly Baxter, which are Night Owl's characters, and have them interact with those characters. You know, I could download one of the, King's, uh, one of the King WCC, West Coast Cause characters, and have them interact with characters from, let's say, uh, someplace else, like Vi Vampiro X. That's the benefit of that. And not only can you have them interact, but you can all have them in one little CAW league, which is why a lot of people are always interested. Which is why when some people ask me, hey, when are you going to do this next one? When are you going to do that one? When is this coming? When is that? It's because people are intrigued. They like seeing sort of like a as best as they can get at that time, they sort of like to see a, a crossover with those characters. Like you could see here, I don't know if you could see it well, my most recent CAW that I just created right now, Brittany Miller, based off Brittany from the Chibets. And right there, you have above her another one I did of Gadget Hackwrench off the Rescue Rangers. And then here's one that I can't remember who, down, who did this one, but I downloaded it. This is the humanoid version, and we see a lot of those on Deviant, DeviantArt and other fan sites. A humanoid version of Twilight Sparker, Sparkle from Friendship and Magic. So think about it. You could so think about it. You could have a match with Twilight Sparkle against Brittany Miller or Gadget. Or and here's another character here, Foro. Foro. This is by Kai. This is by Kai. K A I at Devonart, and I think even on here on YouTube, known for this character. And you could have Foro interact with Twilight Sparkle. Here you have Kermit, I can't remember who made him, and this is Bugs Bunny, created by King WCC, have Kermit and Bugs Bunny interact. You know, his Supergirl, Brack Canary, Giganta, all created by the same individual, and you can have them interact with, uh, with Rogue and Wonder Woman or Zatanna, or you could have Sienna, which is another one of Night Owl's characters, interact with Meredith Clark from CCL. You see, that, that to me is the benefit in why people like uh, the CAW leagues, why they like the CAW leagues that are, they like, they prefer and like the CAW leagues over what they see in WWE and sometimes in what they see over in TNA because they feel that, hey, we can be more creative, we can tell better stories. And at times it's proven that they can. In fact, I remember a few times 
I would watch some of what they did on the computer, some, some of the CAW leagues out there, and I would get intrigued. I'd be like, ooh, that's pretty good. And that's what people like. That's what people like, and that's why they prefer CAW leagues over WWE, over what they see in WWE, TNA, and maybe even Ring of Honor. It's almost, in a sense, like they're trying to send a message to those promotions, in a sense, of saying, hey, look at what we can do. We are doing a better job at storytelling than you guys ever could. And basically, if we ever got the chance to be in those positions up there in real life, we'll prove it to you. So, to, to me, honestly, that's why people like to put their creativity uh, to the test uh, when it comes to these, uh, um, these CAW leagues, especially when it comes to the uh, uh, creation suite and the community creation suites. Uh, that are available to them. Like when it comes to the creation suite, like I said, they can let their imagination run wild and be able to do and create whatever they want to create. And when it comes to downloading it, it allows them to download maybe what they feel is the best representation of, let's say, uh, Amy Rose or Blaze the Cat or Optimus Prime. You know, download the best representation and say, okay, let's have... Optimus go up against Superman, and Superman could be created by somebody else. You know, and that's what's intriguing about it. In a sense, but you see, that's not just the only thing. You take a look at someone like a, a CAW league like RPM and CCL. They take their time when they create their stuff to create the storylines, to have the characters that are supposed to represent the, like the authority figures or the owners and all that to come out and say certain things and then interact with other characters and then have the matches. I mean, they do all this. Now, I'm not as good as, say, let's, some, let's say some of the people at VWA HD or RPM or CCL, but I do the best I can and people find it intriguing. In fact, one of the things that people like about the, CA, about the creations, and especially when it comes to the CAW leagues, is when they're able to do a Royal Rumble-like match. Because that way they can have all the characters they've created interact with maybe some characters they've downloaded. And it really intrigues people. Especially when they see the name pop up for the next entry. Like, oh, the, it's like, okay, you can have in the ring Spider-Man, Superman, Optimus, and all of a sudden out comes Spongebob. <laughs> you know? That, 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 that's why people like it. And I don't really blame them whatsoever for that. I, I really don't. You know, I, you know. Again, I, I really, I, I really don't blame them for what for preferring CAW leagues over, you know, the real deal. You know, I really, I really don't blame them whatsoever. So, but you know, that's just my take on why fans prefer CAW over WWE, CAW leagues over WWE and TNA and even Ring of Honor. Because of everything I've mentioned. So, you know, that's all I'm going to say on it. Uh, you let me know what you, what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys agree. Uh, what is your interpretation of it? Uh, if you want to do a video response, it would be greatly appreciated. But let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Video response if you like. And let me know what your interpretation is of what I've mentioned and why fans prefer CAW leagues over WWE, TNA, maybe even Ring of Honor. Let me know down below. Comment below. Comment if you like. God bless. Take care. I'm out.